What episode are you guys shooting today? Halloween? Am I here on the Halloween day? Yeah, you, you, you are in a Halloween episode. It's a return of Agent Bourne, and the, the Coast Guard agent, Diane Neal, and, and uh, she's come back here with, a, with the lead on a case that we're all following her through, and, and she's running point here. So, um, and from that, it comes more story on her backstory, of course, but um, it, it's surprising stuff and, and stuff that um, may or may not end up in a job opportunity here for her, and that's that's potentially exciting as well. I think there are a lot of pranks on the episode, right? There are a lot of pranks on the episode, in the episode, and we're doing a lot behind the scenes. I know. As well. uh, Michael showed me a picture of him lying down on his stomach, and he put I put a, a twig tree, in, a in twig? his bottom. Okay, yeah. yeah, I. He was. I thought he was doing this very heavy scene with Mark Harmon. We were out shooting in this beautiful park yesterday. It was gorgeous. And it's funny, like when you're doing really heavy stuff, I think most actors are like, I need to get into it. I'm gonna walk around and be cranky. Right, right. Um, <laughs> Not you They guys. forget it's me. They forget <laughs> it's me. And so uh, Michael's just off in the distance, just laying on a blanket in the middle of the park. So I'm like, huh, yeah, anyone got a twig? Anyone got a branch, anything? And Mark got me and I was like, eh. And do you know what the problem? This is, this is Michael Weatherly for you. So I poke him in the bottom. He wakes up, and do you know what he says? Thank you. <laughs> I expected like, a, get away from me, what thrill. happened? Yeah, he just says, thank you, yeah. Oh well, your character <sighs> is uh, is being coerced, possibly, to join their team? It's, which is really funny, because in real life, like, this would, they would have to twist my, like, not at all, be like, okay, I'm here, oh, oh my God, I'm here every day. Sign me up. Seriously, because like, it's so fun, and I think that's one reason it's really popular, and still, it's because it is the nicest cast, mm -hmm. and the nicest crew, and they're so much fun, and it's really weird, like, when you work on other shows and other places, it's not like that, which no. I always find shocking, because I'm like, we get to do make-believe for fun? <laughs> Like this right. is for a job, we're getting paid and we get to mm -hmm. dork around and have fake guns and like, mm -hmm. if you can't enjoy this, find a different job. But no, apparently a lot of them are still in the business. <laughs> um, there is a really light atmosphere here every time I've been and around it, you guys or on set. And it's like that all the time. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but as far as the character goes, I don't know, I think it'd be a, a bit of a demotion for Abigail Boren. However, uh, I don't think it stops him from trying, so okay. I shall see. Well, everyone thinks that I'm the one who's like, you know, the silly guy who hams it up, and Mark Harmon is really the guy who uh, is involved with a great deal. Oh, of, he is. He's the, Mr. Hijinks. Well, why does everyone jump to the conclusion that it's that it's you, that it's Dinozo in this episode well, that you guys are filming? Because Mr. Harmon has a, a very elaborately structured it so that I'm the decoy, <laughs> while he, then he can get away with murder, right, so to speak. And then uh, I'm out there, hung out to dry, taking all the hits to the head. <laughs> what's what's the craziest Halloween costume you've you've ever worn since uh, you're filming Halloween? Yes, I was Gandalf. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I flew about 12 years ago. I, f or, yeah, I flew to New York, and I took my son trick or treating, and I showed up dressed as Gandalf, and he opened the door and he said, "You're not trying to be Obi Wan Kenobi, are you?" And I said, "No, it's Gandalf." And he was like, "It didn't work." It doesn't look like it did. So that's then, a cool dad right there. Yeah, uh, not you so trying. cool. You were trying. You were trying. And then. Um, God, I have so many jokes that I can't say right now that are coming through my head. <laughs> wow, it's incredible. So I do have some practice with the Halloween costumes. I know that last year my daughter was a lion. And what were you? And I was the invisible man because I was working. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is sometimes what happens when you're in this entertainment mm -hmm, industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fun. What about this, this Halloween? Uh, and, but this Halloween, I have a costume all picked out. What is it? I am going to be Han Solo. Nice. Fans sent you that necklace yes, that you're wearing yeah. in this Halloween episode. Fans, are, this is Abby's Halloween dress. But that, yeah, fans send, send stuff in, and if we can use it, we always try to. And sometimes they send like a coffin, but I had a thing since the beginning that Abby is like, she's very symmetric, so there has to be two. There has to be one on yes. each wrist. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And totally. this is very symmetrical, right yes. down the mm -hmm. center. It's yes. Very symmetric. Abby's a little OCD like that, right? Yeah, well, she's like, you know, everything has to be mathematically correct. Well, and that leads me to the pranks for this Halloween episode. Like the prank that's being played on Abby has to do with that. You, mm -hmm. you know, your character really likes things in their place, but that doesn't happen. She, it's in, her, in her lab, everything has to be exactly as it's supposed to be, and, and somebody tries to mess with her. And what happens? Well, now we're going spending the entire episode trying to figure out who the poster is. <laughs> What's the craziest Halloween costume you've ever worn? I was like, I don't, I don't have a costume. I was like, kind of wanted to go, and my friends were all down there, and I went, wait a minute, I have a lab coat? 
I have a choker, I have Bert the Hippo, I have boots, and I went, and then I went in this whole thing. So I actually asked my Twitter fans, it was on Halloween, and I'm like, should I just go out as Abby and see if it throws people off? Like, I didn't know if people would think, wow, she's, you look so much like that girl. And that's what I thought. Right. Just colossal mistake. What happened? Everyone knew it was me, and I got completely <laughs> clever, and I went home. But they were so excited, I bet, to see you. <laughs> it's Abby! I just thought, I thought that no one would think that anyone in their right mind would actually dress up as their <laughs> own character and go out in Hollywood. So, I, and I just thought, like, no, no, and it didn't work.